this is the um, solution to the question about the reversed uh, ranking cycle. And you're told you've got a, a refrigerator that uses refrigerant 134A, and you're told that the cycle operates between 0.14 and 0.8 kilopascals, and also the mass uh, flow rate of the refrigerant through the system is 0.05 kilograms per second. And you're also told to treat the cycle um, as an ideal cycle as well. And then there are a number of parts of the question. You're asked to find the rate of heat removal from the refrigerated space, the power consumed um, by the compressor, um, the heat rejected to the environment, and finally the co coefficient of performance of the refrigerator. Now, the way to solve this is um, similar to the way that you needed to um, solve the uh, ranking cycle for, um, for power generation. In that you've got to go around the cycle, and for each state and each point, you need to find... Um, the enthalpy um, at each state and then once you've got all those you can then use the enthalpies to find all these various parts of the questions and um, then get the, the final answer. Okay so always best to start off with a sketch so um, you can visualize the problem um, you know which points are which and where heat and work are flowing from and to and, and just make it clear in your head what, what you're trying to solve. Um, I suggest you set up a little table as well. So here I've got state one, two, three, four. Um, I've got my pressures. I know that pressure point um, state one and four. I've got pressure of 0.14 megapascals and two and three point eight. And now I've got another column for the enthalpies, which are populate as and when um, I calculate them. Now for the enthalpy at um, uh, 0.1, that's fairly easy to um, find because we can read that directly off the table so we know the enthalpy at h um, at point state one is equal to the enthalpy of the um, saturated vapor at that point at that pressure um, so we read that straight off it's um, 236 kilojoules per kilogram now to find the enthalpy at state two um, the way that we find that is um, we know what pressure it's at um, but we don't um, know anything about its temperature so it's difficult to find so um, we find that from the fact that because we're assuming uh, the compressor uh, is isentropic, then the entropy at two is the, the same as the, the same as the entropy at one, so we can work it out that way. So if we also get the and the entropy at one um, is also equal is the entropy of the um, saturated vapor at that at pressure, so that uh, comes out of this 0.9322 uh, kilojoules per uh, kilogram Kelvin. Then if we look on the um, data for the refrigerant and we um, know it's superheated, so we look at um, pressure of um, 0.8 megapascals and um, using a, um, an entropy of 0.93, take the nearest um, uh, enthalpy and that works out, it comes out as um, 273.66 kilojoules per uh, kilogram and we write that up there. Um, as we start populating this table. Then, um, to find the enthalpy at um, 0.3, again, that's um, relatively easy because we can we know it's on the um, saturated liquid line, so we can just read that from the um, straight off the uh, table um, from the 0.8 megapascals. It's 93.42 kilojoules per, kilo per kilogram. Um, we also know the um, enthalpy at state 4 because um, the enthalpy is constant for a throttling process um, or can be considered um, constant. So again, if you're not sure of that, um, that, look that up. That should be in your um, first year thermodynamics. So the enthalpy is obviously the same, and um, so we can populate that up there. So now we've got all the enthalpies, we can start going around and calculating the values that we needed to to answer the question. So um, we're going to use the steady flow energy equation for this again. Now, I haven't written out in full, but if you remember, um, basically you can simplify it to the um, the heat supplied minus the work done is equal to the change in enthalpy if you neglect the um, potential and the um, kinetic terms. Um, so going from um, 4 to 1, um, we've got no work done, it's only heat supplied. So um, the enthalpy and... Um, in this question, we're working with total um, quantities, not specific quantities. So we want to so we times everything by the mass flow rate to get the total answer. So um, the heat 
removed from the space is equal to the mass flow rate times the enthalpy, change in enthalpy. And if you plug in the numbers from the chart, it gives you an answer of um, 7.13 kilowatts. The power input to the compressor, um, we do the same thing between one and two, um, that there's no heat supplied, so the work in is equal to the change in enthalpy times by the mass flow rate. And again, if we pull those numbers in, it gives us 1.9 um, approximately kilowatts. The heat rejected um, to the environment, um, again, there's no work done, so the change the heat supplied is equal to the change in enthalpy. And plug the numbers into that, and um, that comes out as uh, 9 kilowatts. So the final part of the question is the coefficient of performance of the refrigerator. So remember, it's your desired um, uh, output, um, which is you know the heat that's being rejected from the cold space, over what you need to put in, which is the work to drive it. So if we put the two values in there and um, get that ratio, we end up with a coefficient of performance of um, 3.8. So in other words, um, for every... Um, one unit of electrical energy, it removes 3.8 units of energy um, from the refrigerated space.